Hello and welcome back to my uh, channel with some more Unreal content. Here we are in the editor for Where is Gavin and we're going to go over saving and loading. Now if you're doing this manually it can start to look very messy and get very complicated. So here we've got my event initialization which would then which would check to see if a save game exists. If it does it's going to load that save game. If it's not it's going to create a save game object. Um, and then we're going to set a timer to auto save for that but that means we need to have uh, created our own save game object and we also need to create a struct if we're going to be using a lot of variables um, since there are quite a lot of different things to save but not only that it's really quite time consuming because when you come to save the game if I just show you my save game routine you'll see here that we need to um, we're just loading a, a little UI widget there that says saving and then we're casting to the first person character we're getting all of these variables and we're setting them into this struct this huge long list of variables that we have to set manually and you can see I didn't get very far into it before I was like no there has to be a better way of doing this and luckily for us there is so what you want to do is go over to the Unreal Marketplace and grab yourself this little bad boy it's save extension by Pipe Rift now Full disclosure, it doesn't support every engine version as you can see here. So before you go downloading it, make sure it works with the, the, the version of Unreal that you're using. I've st I stuck with 4.2.2, so it works perfectly fine for me. But what this does, because if I demonstrate in my game, we've got this new, well not new, <laughs> this sweet little feature. And we can we can run around and we'll do control shift three to give us all the stuffs. And like in my world, in my game, you can put stuff down. So we can put stuff down, make like a little uh, platform. But of course if we quit the game and reload it, it's gonna put us right back where we were, and none of those lovely blocks have saved. But what this nice little add-on allows us to do is this very important thing right here all actors are automatically saved world will come back to what it was before that is exactly what we want and also this ability here to tag a variable anywhere and save it so what we do effectively is instead of um, I'm losing all my bits so of grabbing each of these variables each time and then when we load the game loading all of these variables each time. You can see how messy and time consuming doing all of this can get, especially if, you, you've got, if I'm saving these blocks at different states, because I tried for ages and ages and ages setting up arrays of transformations and trying to get these actors to load in, um, and in the end I just said no, um, and I went looking for stuff that could help, and I found this, which just, it just works. So if I show you the code I've got for it currently. This is all it takes to save. Just <laughs> this bit here. I've got it mapped to F5 and F6 at the moment, which is probably a mistake because F5 makes it go the screen go nuts. Uh, I mean, it's it's one of the debug uh, viewers, but basically, I'm just loading and saving to, and you can change the slot ID and have that increment and have the player have this but basically just two commands load and save now the way this works is if I go into my first person game mode I've got all my variables that's my little code for the cheat for <laughs> the cheats um, if you look at one of these it's got this little save game modifier and if you tick that it means that the game will automatically save that variable so now if I load the game up it's always gonna load me in at the default level and if I press F6 there's no Ooh, but now I've pressed F5 and the screen's gone uh, into debug mode. So now if I were to load the game up and then immediately press F6. There we go. It's going to put me straight back to where I was. So now what I can do is if we bring up the menu, you'll notice I've got no blocks. So if I go away and then we do Control shift f 3 give ourselves all the blocks. And now what we can do is hit F5. And now, if we reload the game, you'll see that when I press F6, and then bring up the menu, it's
it's remembered all of those values, so I didn't have to go and do them one at a time into this big old list here. All I had to do was flag them to save. So whenever you create a variable and you want to go, you're going to want it saved at the time you create it, just tick save game. It makes saving and loading so much easier. And rather than trying to keep track of all of these blocks, you'll notice um, in here as well that uh, do, 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 event in it isn't detected. So it's not um, it's not these values that are getting loaded back in. This is all getting done by that. Um, by that save extension here and it's tracking the the variable saving it and now what we're going to demonstrate is the all actors stuff now like I say I've got a bit of a building mechanic to my game so if we jump back in now um, let the game load there we go skip past that there we go now, so now we can bring up the menu and it saves all of our items our position and everything like that so if we pop down a few of these blocks here like so oh, no come on there we go it does uh, <laughs> oh dear oh hello let's see if we save the position of him as oh no I hit F6 and loaded it instead of saving it. Never mind. Let's quickly put some some blocks back down. Let's put down some some foundation blocks just because they're bigger and they'll be easier to visualize. There we go. So now if we were to put down say a podging table. I'm interested in Oh, it is. Just didn't decrement the flat plant pieces. properly. So it's just me debugging my own game now. Yeah, it's, it's not decrementing the concrete blocks. That's interesting. Anyway, that's, uh, that's, a, that's not what we're here to discuss. But yeah, now as you can see, we've put a bunch of stuff down. And let's put a campfire down because I'd be interested to see how this deals with, this has got a float in it to control the intensity of the, um, the, like the firelight, so it'll be interesting to see how it copes with that. So let's hit F5, and then F3 again to make that go away. We'll close down the game, we will load it back up. You can just ignore that errors reported, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> it's, um, the, it's the code I've got for the, the AI. It's, they've got an overlap thing and they start overlapping so it's up I will get to that but anyway that's what we're doing oh there we go see it's remembered all the blocks we've put down it's remembered exactly where they are now here's a question if I take the nannies and I plant nannies in all of these little planters here will it remember how grown they were so and also, will it remember the soil status of this, these plants? So, let's just get my bucket out. Grab some water into it. And will it remember the bucket contents? Because I haven't specifically told it to do any of this. So I'm just kind of stress testing to see how robust this new saving thing is. So, let's hit F5 again. F3. Quit the game. Start it again. F6. Beautiful. So bring out my bucket. So it remembered the contents. I, I you could hear the water splash, but it didn't um, restore the the graphical thing. And it looks like it's not remembered. It's not even remembered that these were planted. So those are just some bug tricks and things that I will have to attend to. But you can see how robust this system is. So F6 again, F6 again, turn this way. It even remembers exactly where you were looking. It is fantastic. And if you're like me and you were looking for a solution to this very problem, this, my friends, is your cup of tea. So I'm going to leave that one floating there and we'll hit F5. Oh god, I'm gonna shot that as well. So 
So that will be interesting to see if it remembers we were being shot at. So let's just load that up. We'll do F6. Oh, it does as well, look! Even the little cannonballs and the little floating bouncing. Oh, that is beautiful. So yeah, so if you want to do loading and saving the easy way with the minimal of coding, I cannot recommend this plugin enough. It has saved my absolute life and I love it. Look at this, less than six milliseconds to save 10,000 actors. 10,000 actors, what madman's having that many in their level? Nuts. But yeah, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this little deep dive. Um, if you did, just like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Where's Gavo?